Originally, I was a printed circuit designer for many years, and then I had an opportunity to become editor of a magazine about printed circuit design. I was employed by a rather large publishing house that did business-to-business -business magazines and uh, became a publisher there. Started uh, the PCB Design Conference in 91 or 92. Uh, and then in 2002, had the opportunity to spin off the group of PCB magazines and start my own company uh, called UP Media Group. PCB West has gone through uh, many of the trials and tribulations that our industry has also gone through. We suffered in the 2008 times, like so many companies did, but we persevered and we, uh, we, we have been growing every year since that. The first year we did the show, I believe, like I said, it was 91 or 92, there were probably 60 companies exhibited, something like that. But back then, there were probably 40 EDA companies, electronic design automation companies, to where now there are maybe 10, maybe 10. Uh, everybody back in the, the 90s and the early 2000s was buying each other up until they became one company. You know, there's few companies anyway. PCB West is unique in that primarily our audience and our exhibitors are focused tightly on the printed circuit board world. Uh, we don't have exhibitors or attendees here who are in the uh, integrated circuit world or something like that. It's unique in that it draws both attendees and exhibitors who have something to do just with printed circuit boards. And I think it's the only show in our industry um, that does that, especially with a focus on the design portion. Uh, over the last few years, we've also incorporated more and more in the technical conference about the fabrication and assembly parts of the, uh, the business. Um, but it's been primarily focused on the design side. And that's one of the reasons we attract uh, the exhibitors who manufacture the board, provide the materials for circuit boards, and that kind of thing. So it's, it's people who are involved in the circuit board world. Off the cuff, uh, the top of my head, I believe there are probably 90 companies, 9-0 companies, exhibiting at PCB West this year. Uh, that number's been growing every year. We've expanded the hall over the last few years until we're bursting into seams now. And um, we're gonna have to make decisions about whether we go to a larger hall or what we do to expand our space because every year it's been getting bigger and bigger. But I believe it's about 90 people exhibit, companies exhibiting. PCB West provides a unique marketing vehicle for people who are, uh, companies who are in our space. Um, this is the, the place where they get that exposure face to face. I mean, we have other marketing vehicles, our magazines, our websites and stuff like that. But face to face is, to me, is the most critical, the most important, the most, uh, uh, the most desirable way to reach your customers and your potential customers. And so it's very important to be here and uh, to be here every year, to be consistent and show the, the, um, your potential customers that you're in this business to stay and you're in this arena to stay and that you want to reach them and talk to them. So, so it's very important. Work on the next PCB conference starts before this one even starts, opens the doors. Uh, we're booking the space, doing all kinds of preliminary work. And then of course, uh, in the next week, we start selling the booths and sponsorships for next year. Uh, we have to start recruiting speakers for our technical conference. We decide a lot of what the topics that we want to cover in the technical conference. I think this year we had like 90 sessions, technical sessions in the conference. So we have to start right away recruiting these, uh, these speakers 
and replacing the ones that drop out for one reason or another. And uh, so it starts right away. It's a, it's a year or more uh, that goes into producing the next show. I would say the most difficult thing about putting on this show is um, dealing with uncertainties of uh, things like weather, for instance. How is the weather going to affect the turnout for the show? Um, there, some of the other things that uh, keep me awake at night are um, working with the speakers, getting the conference speakers and uh, uh, tutorials together, um, dealing with those people who are all very professional and very, um, very intelligent people. Um, that's probably the most difficult thing. It, we don't have many problems dealing with people. We, um, every now and then we have a certain amount of attrition of exhibitors who drop out. That's always a difficulty. If you've got an empty booth, what do you do with that? You know, you've got to find somebody else to buy that booth or to be in that booth. But since we have a, usually have a waiting list, since our floor is full and we have a waiting list of exhibitors, it's usually easy to fill that space. Probably 15 years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting Ken Ball, who's the president of Sierra and uh, Sierra Circuits. Uh, and we took to each other pretty much from the start. Uh, had some common interests, both in the industry and outside of the industry. A very knowledgeable person, uh, both about uh, the manufacturing processes, the machines. Um, and Sierra has been one of the, uh, the cornerstone companies in supporting uh, the PCB West and supporting our magazines also. Um, every time I would come to the West Coast, Ken would be there waiting to bring me over to Sierra and show me his facility, show me his new machines, things that he was real proud of, uh, his ability to create even uh, more complicated and more technology-rich boards. And um, he's one of my favorite people in this industry. In 1991, when our group publisher told me that uh, he thought that I should start a conference and trade show uh, to uh, be associated with our magazine, um, I wasn't sure it was the right thing to do. I wasn't sure how well it would be received by our readers of our magazine and our potential attendees. But I said, okay, I would, be, I would do that. But that I insisted that we have a uh, robust technical conference, something that was more than a paper sessions. Sessions where we could teach uh, tricks, techniques, and tips to uh, board designers, engineers, anybody in the industry, to where we can provide real, what I call, meat and potatoes, um, uh, instead of like one hour or 20 minute uh, paper sessions. And that conference has, um, has survived, it's grown, it's, uh, it's provided a lot of um, um, uh, education, to our attendees and the conference uh, attendees. And I, every year I'm here, I'll have somebody, I'll see somebody that, that's been here every year. You know, or, or almost every year. Uh, it's just all those familiar faces that um, I've made. So I, the things that I'm most proud of are, are the technical conference and uh, the people that I've had the opportunity to meet. Those are the things that make me the most happy.